hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install windows 10 on your virtual box now for those that don't know virtual box is a tool that allows you to run different operating mm -hmm. systems on your host operating system so for example this is my virtual box and you can see i'm running kali linux on this virtual box i'm running debian 11 android os and windows 11 as well so you can do whatever you want with this virtual box i mean you can have more than 10 20 30 different operating systems running on the same computer so now we have to download and install virtualbox if you don't have it already to do that simply head to your google chrome browser and then search for virtualbox so once you search on google you are going to see the first link up here oracle vm virtualbox and that's it so click on it and then by the left you will see downloads over here click on downloads and then under downloads you are going to see different versions of virtualbox we are installing virtualbox for windows host so select windows host over here now the installation process is actually very easy, you just have to double click on the software and then start installing like every other software. If you find it difficult to install then check the video description and you will see a link to a video that will guide you through that. Now the second thing we need for this installation is Windows 10 ISO file. So you just search on Google for download Windows 10 and it will take you to this page. You can see the first page over here, download Windows 10 Dix image ISO file. Now click on it and it will take you to this page where we can download the ISO file. Now I already have Windows 10 downloaded so I don't need to download again. So this is my computer and this is my Windows 10 file I already downloaded. This is about 5.7 gig and we are going to use this later for the installation. Now this is our virtual box after it is installed and we have to create a new virtual machine and to do that click on new up here in your virtual box and then enter a machine name so let's call this Windows 10. So you can see once we enter the name Windows 10, the type automatically changed, I mean the version automatically changed to Windows 10 64 bit. So if it doesn't change, if you use another name, you can manually select this. We downloaded Windows 10 64 bit, so you click on 64 bit, next, and then you select the amount of RAM you want to allocate to this virtual machine. So let's give it 6 gig of RAM, and then next, create a virtual hard disk now, next, that's create. VDI next, dynamically allocated next. Now you set the maximum ROM you want to allocate to this virtual machine. So let's give it, let's say, 87 gig of ROM and then click on create. Now our new virtual machine has been created and you can see the details of this machine. This is a base memory 6 gig of RAM. This is a video memory 128 megabytes. Now we can actually make changes to this and to do that, click on settings over here. And then you can see system by the left. Now this is the motherboard and this is the RAM where you can adjust. Then you click on the processor over here. And then you allocate the CPU core to this machine. So I'm allocating 3 CPU core to this machine. So it will run more smooth. And then OK. So you can see everything is looking good. So now we can start the installation. Now to start the installation all you do is click on start up here. Now we have to import the ISO file we downloaded. So click on this file icon over here. And then click on add. Now select the Windows 10 file we downloaded. So this is my file over here. And then I will click on open. And then click on choose. And then start. So the installation has started. Now let's begin with the installation. So enter the language and the time, whatever you want to use there, and then next, install now. Now we don't have a product key, so you click on I don't have a product key. Now we can work on that later. I made a video on how to bypass this, so you can check the video description for that. So let's click on I don't have a product key. And then select the Windows version. I'm going with Windows 10 Pro Edition. So that's OK. And then click on Next. And it would check for the basic requirements if we meet up the requirements to install Windows 10. And that's OK. So let's accept the terms. And then Next. So let's go with the custom Windows installation. And then this is the drive we want to install Windows 10. This is the drive we allocated to our virtual machine. So now let's Next. And our installation has started.
This will take some time, so maybe you can do something else while waiting for these to install. So you can see the installation is complete and our PC will restart in one second. So we just have to create an account for sign up. So guys, Windows 10 has been installed on our virtual machine. So basically, this is how to install Windows 10 on your virtual box. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.